Hello and welcome to Peaky Carp Fishing. Thank you for taking the time to watch this vlog. Vlogging isn't something that I do normally, so please bear with me. I hope that as I get my head around it a little bit more, that my uploads should improve also. So today, I'm fishing with my son Kieran. We're at the Viaduct Fisheries in Somerton. The venue's packed, as you'll see, but it's a good job we arrived early. My name's Chris Paul, and I've been fishing since probably the early 80s on and off. Came back to it a couple of years ago after a 10 year layoff. Some friends at work were all into carp fishing, so it didn't take long for them to recruit me. I'm still pretty new to this type of fishing, but I'm still building my kit. But I guess that never stops. I've also just come off a recent 48 hour session at Topper Manor on Little Hayes, where I only landed a mid teen mirror. So the fishing was quite hard, so I was kind of keen to get out on a bit of a runs lake for some action. After a very early lost fish for Kieran, it's, we soon started to bank some. We found that fish and yellow boilies seemed to do the trick. Chap next to us donated us some banoffee boilies that he was doing quite well on. So a big shout out to that lad. It's very much appreciated. We were both fishing wafters initially on D-rigs, then went over to the hair for bottom baits. We were feeding pellet and loose boilies over a PVA bag, um, which we had some good results from uh, initially. Really we did get a bit of a barren spell as, as the day sort of grew on, but we then caught some more towards the end of the day. Um, we ended up around about 16 carp each, with the biggest uh, being up to £17, but some beautiful fish. Uh, it was a great, friendly venue, um, very busy as there was a match taking yeah, place, uh, but you do get a good day's fish in here. Well, hopefully you've enjoyed my first vlog, so please subscribe and so you can be alerted to more of my uploads and for my next adventures. I hope you enjoyed this. Kieran at this point had lost a couple of fish, um, no particular reason, it's almost like sort of bream bites where the boilie was taken but not hooked. Um, I myself had a few incidents where I actually had two rigs on the bounce break. Um, I won't go into who the manufacturer was or whatever, so I put some of my own tied hair rigs on and started fishing with them. Get in the net. The swims can be quite tight, um, with quite a lot of people packed in along the banks, so you kind of don't really have a lot of water to play with. Uh, but we found we were catching some uh, some regular carp from the aerator, which is just to the left of my rods here, or to the right of where Kieran was fishing. Um, we got some success there, and I know Kieran had fished there before in the past and, and done quite well, so we kind of targeted that. I cut the video quite quickly there, um, just from a few expletives from Kieran. Uh, as you saw, he had a bit of a screamer going on, um, hit into it, nothing. Um, we had a couple like that during the day, but um, yeah, it all adds to the fun.
Because at this point, I had one to the left um, to towards the air agent, and I had one on the right towards the margin. Um, I started to drift out about a rod's length uh, distance away from the margin closest to me, um, where I had some success. I had a couple of cart from there um, on some of the Bonoffi boilies, uh, which did produce for us that day, um, which was pretty good. So might be interested to see how that reacts next time we go. Um, but yeah, there's some good fish in there. Um, as, as you can see, the opposite bank, um, you're kind of sharing that mid-water, but luckily we had a couple of pole fishermen in front of us, so they weren't going for the distance. So it gave us a little bit more sort of uh, casting room for, for a bit more of a bigger swim. As you can see, we had some lovely fish out, um, so uh, I'm looking forward to going back again. So thanks again for, for watching, and uh, hopefully we will, uh, we will catch up with you very soon.